Talking with Attorney General Tim Fox, and, and Tim, I understand that uh, you have received some recognition for, uh, for a foundation that's helping to get kids off alcohol. Could you tell me a little bit about this award? Sure, Peter, uh, and thanks for having me on here. Uh, you know, the work that we do here at the Department of Justice, we do tirelessly uh, just for the satisfaction of serving Montanans. And every once in a while, it's nice to get uh, a, a little uh, recognition, I guess, for the efforts that we do. And let me just say that, you know, the bulk of the work really goes on with all of the people in my office, and, and uh, there's over 800 great public servants at the Department of Justice, but I have partnered with the Foundation for Advancing Alcohol Responsibility, uh, which is a national organization that uh, really fights to eliminate drunk driving and particularly underage drinking, and uh, that's of course a cause that uh, I can certainly support and have been glad to do that, and uh, did a number of public service announcements uh, with the foundation, uh, did some school assemblies here in Montana where uh, they got me to, to do some things, uh, uh, you know, that was videoed by the camera that I'm surprised if I, that I, I won't be surprised if I see them on camera during my next re-election campaign. <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun, and, and I've been able, I think, to, along with their help, make a, a positive impact on the problem of underage drinking and, and drinking and driving and of course as you know that's been a big part of my uh, uh, program here at the Department of Justice as Attorney General is to try to reduce the incidence of, of uh, driving under the influence and it's uh, you know these, doing these PSAs and these school programs and we've been tweeting out information and what have you that's just a part of the bigger picture of, of our plan to address not only the, the education part of it and the public awareness but of course, uh, try to make our, our laws as, as good as we can, and that's why I've, in the last legislature, I introduced a bill to do away with the look-back period that allowed people to space their DUI convictions out and avoid uh, the consequences of uh, driving under the influence. And uh, also, uh, I've been pushing really hard to expand the 24-7 sobriety program into those counties that haven't been using it so that we can and hold people accountable, uh, change their ways, hopefully, and, and, and have a real impact uh, on the lives of people, of the people of Montana. So I'm, I'm fortunate and pleased to get this award. Uh, we will continue to work hard to, uh, to get our message out about the, the dangers of underage drinking and drinking and driving. Now, I, I do know that uh, having visited with uh, with Captain Kitchen uh, regarding what's going on here in Missoula this weekend for the Grizz Cat game, uh, they have really gone all out to, you know, getting down to the tailgates, having their mobile processing unit uh, just right across the footbridge from the university. I think people are going to realize that uh, you won't get away with drinking and driving at that game. Well, and, and certainly, you know, we, we uh, will enforce the laws. But, again, I think a lot of it is changing the culture in Montana. Uh, there, for all too long, we've had this idea, I think many of us, that, that it's okay to be an underage drinker or that it's okay to drink and drive occasionally uh, if you're very, very careful. Uh, you know, we just need to have a zero tolerance for both of those things. And But one way, one of the ways we do it is to have a, a high visibility with our highway patrol and others so that people think twice about this and, they, and hopefully they will join us in spreading the message uh, to young people in particular uh, about holding one another accountable, accountable and making sure that uh, in our peer groups that we uh, uh, you know, tell each other that uh, we want you to be safe, we want you to uh, uh, make sure you make it to the next game or the next class, and, and to do that we just need to hold each other accountable.